For today's video, let us answer the setup question in the average round in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2018 Division Orals for Grade 8. On number 1, write the expression quantity x raised to negative 1 times y raised to negative 1 all over x raised to negative 1 plus y raised to negative 1 raised to negative 1 in lowest term with only positive exponents. So let us write first the given. So let us have x raised to negative 1 times y raised to negative 1 over x raised to negative 1 plus y raised to negative 1 and then raised to negative 1. So let us find the reciprocal of the numerator that is 1 over xy and then x raised to negative 1 that is 1 over x and then y raised to negative 1 that is 1 over y and then raised to negative 1. So to simplify, let us rewrite the numerator that is 1 over xy all over and then let us have xy as the denominator and then let us have y times 1 that is y x times 1 that is x raised to negative 1. So we can cancel this one. So you're going to have 1 over y plus x raised to negative 1. So if you're going to find the reciprocal of this one, this will be 1 over 1 over y plus x. And let us multiply this one. So it will have y plus x. And this will be our answer. On number 2, divide square root of 6 plus square root of 3 by square root of 6 minus square root of 3 and express quotient in simplest form. So to find the quotient, let us have square root of 6 plus square root of 3 over square root of 6 minus square root of 3. So to simplify this one, let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator that is square root of 6 plus square root of 3 over square root of 6 plus square root of 3. So let us have now square root of 6 plus square root of 3 multiplied by itself that is square root of 6 plus square root of 3 square. And then whenever we multiply a conjugate, we multiply first term to first term, last term to last term. Square root of 6 times square root of 6, that is 6. And then positive times negative is negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is 3. And then we have a square root binomial. Square root of 6 multiplied by itself, that is 6. And then square root of 6 times square root of 3, that is square root of 18, multiplied by the constant 2. That is 2 square root of 18. And then, on the last term, square root of 3 multiplied by itself, that is 3. And then, 6 minus 3, that is 3. So, to simplify, 6 plus 3, that is 9, plus 2, and the square root of 18 is factorable by 9 and 2 over 3. So let us simplify our answer. So let us have 9 plus 2. The square root of 9 will be 3. Then square root of 2 over 3. So we have 9 plus 2 times 3. That is 6. Then square root of 2 over 3. Then let us divide. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. And 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Then square root of 2. So this will be our answer. On number 3, write an equation of the line that is parallel to 3x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0, which passes through the point negative 5, 7. To find the equation that is parallel to 3x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0, let us have this one that is 3x minus 2y. And let us use this one to find the constant 
C using the point negative 5 and 7. So let us have x and y. So we have 3 times the value of x that is negative 5 minus 2 times 7 equals the value of C. 3 times negative 5 that is negative 15 and then negative 2 times 7 that is negative 14 equals C. So the value of C that is negative 15 minus 14 that is negative 29. So this will be the value of C. Since we have 3x minus 2y equals negative 29, let us write this one in the form of 3x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. And that is 3x minus 2y plus 29 equals 0. And this will be our answer. On number 4, factor completely quantity x plus 3y times the quantity of x plus 3y minus 3 plus 2. So to find the factor of the given expression, let us have x as x plus 3y. So we are going to represent x plus 3y as x. So let us have x multiplied by this one, that is x minus 3 plus so to simplify, let us have x times x is x squared, and x times negative 3, that is negative 3x plus 2. And let us factor this one. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x, and what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get positive 2, and if we add, we can get negative 3, and that is negative 2 and negative 1. And we all know that the value of x, that is x plus 3y, so let us have now x plus 3y minus 2, and then x plus 3y minus 1. So this will be the factor, and this will be our answer. On number 5, in how many ways can 4-digit pin can be formed if the first digit cannot be 0 and the last digit cannot be the same as the first digit? So to find the 4-digit pin, let us use the numbers 0 to 9. And that is total of 10 numbers. So let us have 4-digit pin. That is 1, 2, 3, and 4. In our given, the first digit cannot be 0. So, 0 is not allowed in the first blank. So, there are 9 numbers that can be written in the first blank. And then, the last digit cannot be the same on the first digit. Since 0 is allowed on the last digit, there are 9 numbers that can be written on the last blank. Because one of the number is written in the first blank. That is, cannot be the same as the first digit. And then, let us have 10 numbers on the second and another 10 numbers on the third blank. So to simplify, 9 times 10, that is 90. And then 10 times 9 is also 90. So 90 times 90 is 8,100 ways. This will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.